Hi guys, and I'm going to be going over the free assets on the Unreal Store for March 2023. As is a normal, they've put out five assets this month, which are free. I don't believe they put anything into the permanently free collection, so you know, get these stuff in the month. I'm um, going to go over the first thing. As always, great selection, lots of different things, something for more or less everybody. And this is a big shader pack, so post-processing stuff. Um, you know, this is, I think, gonna you're going to put onto your process processing and this will really make the stuff look different. You know, these are pretty hard effects, um, especially these two on the left, to actually get with the uh, default process processing. So you really are going to, if you are doing heavy process processing work, especially if you're doing sci-fi, as I think, you know, this is clearly sci-fi type stuff mostly. You're going to want to, you know, be downloading this. So, you know, there's... Some some fantasy here, uh, and definitely if you were, you know, it's sort of materials. Definitely if you were doing, you know, something, you know, technologically advanced, you'd probably, you know, want to be including this. But I don't think, you know, most projects without a lot of technology, as a, there, you know, as you know, a lot of sci-fi first-person shooter or whatever, most aren't really going to be going towards this. This is really good for the projects that do have because. You know, maybe if you want to do pixelization also, it's really good for them because it allows you to do these things really easy and really quickly, because otherwise it's going to be taking you absolutely ages. The second thing is a modular opera house. Now, this is brilliant looking. Um, it's high quality, so we're talking, you know, tens of thousands of polys per asset and you know, 4K textures for everything, more or less. You know, really, you know, this this is good from this view. So you can just see this is lovely looking, lovely reflections, all of that. And really nice, even at the small details, you know, right down to this piano music, which is really lovely detailing. And this is modular, so you don't have to go with this type of, this exact layout. You can, you know, you can use a, when I get to them, these assets here, you can arrange them whatever order you like. You can, you know, modify them a bit if you want. You, you can scuff them up. You, you can add new ones even, and that's kind of, you know, that's the great thing about modular assets. You can do whatever you want with them. And this is going to be very good for people who probably want to have a more, you know, a story-driven-ish game, and you want some high-quality kind of, you know, you're thinking you know, spy type stuff, James Bond, whatever. It's probably what you're going to be looking at for this very nice, kind of expensive looking assets. And you're probably kind of not going to be thinking of an open world type game. It's very detailed. So this is probably for your action, your shooters. You know, you can imagine, you know, can't you imagine a a shooting game, you know, going through those seats, that's probably what you're going to be wanting to use this stuff for. But in the end, you can, you know, I think we've all taken an asset pack and completely changed it to fit our, you know, our goals and bastardized it. The third thing is something I'd probably definitely be interested in using. It's a forest, which, you know, looks great. It looks, you know, good, pretty standard oak forest, which is really nice because I you know, the majority of the assets that they release for forests are usually deciduous of pines, that type of thing. Whereas this is an oak, you know, it's got the love, you know, it's not just the trees, obviously, it's got a bit of uh, bushes, well, that's many trees, and rocks in the road, which is standard for this type of asset, which, you know, helps them demo it and bring out the environment. And it does look very nice. Um, and, they're, and they're not, you know, too ultra demanding because, you know, if you look at the quicksaw type trees, those are really up there with demanding. Whereas these look to be a nice middle ground. For, you know, most projects you could put this in an open world game and it'll probably run fine. You could do the quicksaw, but you gotta be more careful with them. And you know, you are getting a wide variety of assets here, which all look very nice. So this is you know, definitely something for a lot of projects. It's probably probably you know the thing you'd probably most use out of this asset set, most generic. The fourth and really only mechanical asset is this uh, vaulting system, which is also enabled for multiplayer and has some quite nice a IK. 
It's also single player based. I don't know if it says that down here, but in fact, it has a lot of things. So it's, you know, you can use it for single player. You can always use multiplayer stuff for single player, but it has, as it says down here, anti cheat and whatnot to protect it. And what this kind of is good for is if you are developing a game that may have vaulting in it and you don't want to spend the, you know, let's be honest, it's going to take you a week or so to make this type of thing if you are, well, weak at the minimum, if you're just a single developer or even more than that. So it's really good if you want to, you know, get something out quickly and you don't want to have to worry about everything. Um, I also believed it uses, it. well, it says it uses IK, which is something that um, was really kind of sp spoken about at one of the demos for Unreal, you know, the one with the giant Titan thing with the shot the lasers. It was uh, said, oh, we can have, it talks about um, IK vaulting, and here it is. Though this is admittedly was actually developed for Unreal Engine 4 first, so they clearly were ahead of the time. The final asset is more or less complete uh, modern house. So this type of thing, you know, really modern and quite, you know, the outside isn't the most spectacular thing ever. You know, it doesn't look that good. It looks a bit cartoony, a bit undefined, but the inside looks very nice, very modern, very clean. And this is something, you know, that you'll, you definitely want to be showing off. I think architectural visualization will be the most common. It is, it's meant to be, I think, more of a, an asset pack that you sort of, you know, use whole, you don't want to fight yourself. It's got, you know, blueprints for walkable, for fully walkable, as it says uh, down there. So, you know, it's actually quite good if you're a kind of new person and you really do want to just learn how the blueprints work. And it also has, as I think it says, fully baked lighting. So, you know, that's it's going to look better than you know the more dynamic lighting or unbaked so it's definitely something probably not for games as much but you know they do say games or architectural visualization so it's probably more for the architectural visualization which is nice because there's not much of that type of stuff on the on the free free side of the asset store 